Hello, future inbounds speedrunner. You, uh, you want to learn how to play it? And I'm going to show you how to play it. So, instead of doing the whole game like you would traditionally do, because it's so similar to any percent, and I feel like most people start there, we are just going to go over the parts that are different from any percent. So, the first difference really would be chapter 1, checkpoint B. So you would come out of here like usual. And then you would also come over here like usual. But instead of um, doing the kick glitch out of bounds here, oh, I need the trainer. Oops. I'm prepared, I promise. Alright. So, instead of doing the kick glitch like normal, you want to do a very light wall boost. And that will get you far enough to run, excuse me, run on this wall. And then you can just kick off of it. And you want to get a wide kick so you land in this corner. If you get a straight one, you're going to land here and it's kind of awkward to do the next part. Um. These cards are really annoying, so just get them out of the way. So you want to do a light wall boost and a wide kick to land here. And then a side jump and immediately start wall running. And then if you uh, let go of W and press it again, you should get a speed roll up there. Uh, if that's too hard, you can just walk off here and then do a kick. But I'm pretty sure this is the fastest way. Unless you want to do some stuff there, but not really necessary. Uh, and then in this vent, you've got two options. You can either do a quick turn thingy, which is kind of finicky. You just wait until you see Faith kind of like pop up here on our own, and then you hit space. But that can happen, so the safest way is to just wall climb and turn jump up here instead. And then do a neutral kick here. Let me get rid of these guards quick. Oops. Where am I? <laughs> Alright. So then, when you get here, you want to like slide in the middle ish, not too far to the right. If you're too far to the right, you won't land on the couch. And then you're going like really slow. So you want to just slide out and then hold. Uh, D. Uh, yeah, D. And then as soon as you land on the couch, you want to just do sidestep and then wall boost here. Um, and then you want to jump kick this door. Jump kick is important because you want to stop after you kick it by letting go of W. And then from here you can jump on the railing and sidestep off of it. Providing you do everything correctly. Oops. Let's fix that real quick. Like that. And then you just want to like tease left like this. Don't hold it all the way until you get like this far down. 
and then you want to do a wall boost and then a side jump wall boost and then we're back to the 80% roll Uh, next up would be chapter 2, checkpoint B. Uh, when you load in here, uh, uh, never mind. So you want to come through this door and then jump on this like dirt and then onto this thing from there. And what I like doing is doing a wall run here and then looking to the right and jumping off like straight away. It stops you doing a speed vault. You can keep some speed. Uh, some other people like doing a wall climb up here and then going up there. I'm not very good at that, so I'm not going to show you how to do it. Because I don't want to ruin your life. But, yeah, you want to just jump on here and then usually this will be really hard to stand on so just keep moving to the edge every time it moves away and you want to be on this corner right here and then you should just survive as you fall down to the bottom um, so there's a trigger for a checkpoint on the other side of this door but that will change if you take too long so you want to be kind of fast. So you want to hit this button and then immediately go this way. And then from here you want to do a wall run on this curved wall. And then just as the curve ends right here you want to do a wall climb on this. And then if you uh, do a sidestep to the right you should be able to grab this. Like that. You have to like really pull the camera. Uh, if you mess that up, you can get on the door and climb up from there. Or you can just do that from the get go if you want. It's kind of tricky though. But yeah, you just want to get to this door. If you mess both of those up, you can just uh, come over here and do this springboard. If you let go of everything after you springboard and then you like rotate to the right, tap forwards, you'll do a speed vault. Pretty handy. And then you just go under the gate and you'll grab a checkpoint. So it should look like this. You'll get a checkpoint right here, and then you quit to the menu and you load back in by pressing continue game. And you'll be in here. Uh, this area is all the same as well, so we'll move on to um, here. Zero trans fats, very good. Alright, so when this is done, you immediately want to go to the left and jump just a little bit before this bump. There's actually a, a big piece of collision here that won't let you like miss the pole because it ramps you into it. Um, so yeah, just jump a bit early and you'll kind of like slide into it. And then you want to jump to the second pole and then on the second one you want her to swing like really high and then at the end of the swing you want to jump and then coil and you'll land on here and then with that speed you get from the coil you want to do a semicircle and then jump off of here like this it's not incredibly precise just a little bit. Do a swing, long swing, coil jump. Yeah. 
Uh, there is one more thing you can do with this. Which I like doing. Is if you press Q as you land and then space. Sometimes you'll spin around like that. But sometimes you will... Just skip all of the climbing animations. Like that. But yeah, and then you just want to head over to this thing. Do a kick clutch here. Oops. Not the easiest thing in the world. It's kind of finicky. And sometimes you will just get a dead kick. I'm not really sure what causes that. But just try it out and you'll get a feel for it. It's not that hard. Uh, and then when you get here, you want to let go of W as you walk into this. And then you won't have to wait longer. It will just like immediately end. That's chapter two. Chapter three is pretty much the same as normal again. Just gets different when you get here. So when you bash this door down, you want to do a sidestep. And then an infinite wall climb, wall boost here. As soon as you touch this thing, the game's going to start loading. You want to try and like bonk on the side of this as well. That's good to do. Because you want to be like in line with this pole on the floor if you want to slide in this vent. Um... But it's not too bad if you don't slide in the vent, or if you can't get the side jump slide consistently. Uh, and you would just want to do a quick slide and then do another one like this. Then neutral kick, sidestep into the gap. Um, be careful of this thing, if you sidestep near it half the time you're just gonna like have all your speed like taken away so just be mindful of that you can either sidestep over it or just curve around it but you want to climb up the middle of this shouldn't have to coil or anything and then you want to do a double wall boost here I think that's the fastest way. If you don't want to do that, you can just do a wall boost down the hallway. Uh, when you get here, you want to <coughs> walk through this door and then just do a side jump wall boost into this. And then just climb this like normal. Crawl through the vents. Uh, one thing I like doing here, which you don't have to do, but I like doing it anyway, is I'll just like quickly rotate and then get a quick turn jump up here. Just saves a tiny bit of time. Alright, then next we have... I guess cranes. You probably don't want to be doing cranes. So what you would do instead is you would either come down here. Oops. Down here like this. It's actually good if you land on the uh, like nipple thing as well. Or you can do the faster way, which is a kick glitch on this pole. And then if you get to like the edge here and then you sidestep, you'll fall down here and can kick glitch. I prefer doing this kick glitch method just because it's faster. But you can, if you want, do this method here. If you land on this thing and then you roll onto this one, then you can just jump over the fence. And then you want to make your way down here and do this kick glitch. 
Uh, one thing about this game is you can't like, climb stuff at certain angles. So what you want to do, if you want to avoid the climb, if you don't really care then don't bother, but if you look like kind of diagonally as you land, she won't climb it. She will just kind of go over it. And then if you do cranes, you do the... Actually, I'll show you my crane setup. But uh, I would advise you to skip over this and do the next part instead. So for cranes, I stand here. And then I do two pretty accurate side steps. I go into this thing on the wall and then one more to the left. I just work them into muscle memory so my camera always lands like around here. And then you want to jump onto this thing and then as you land on it you want to hit reaction time right now and then you should be running towards this line here um, and then you want to keep an eye on this part here there's like a ledge and you can see it through the I guess leg of this thing so you just want to kind of jump when the edge is like near this part you know? like right here would be fine if you wait too long and it's like this then it might also work, but it's probably not going to. So just make sure this thing is like kind of near the thing, but not that much. And then you should just get a bunch of speed. Didn't really work that time because I had a wonky sidestep. But yeah, just uh. Reaction time. Jump at the time that I told you by watching the thing in the bottom right. You should be good. Do it once more. So I'm watching. I'm aiming here and I'm watching this as I'm running here. Like, I'll aim here and then I'll stop looking, and I'm always just looking at this. And then I'm jumping, like, here. It's kind of far from the edge. Oops. There you go, that's cranes. If you do this, make sure you climb on this thing. You can do that by either climbing up like this, or if you land close enough to it, you can stay on this ledge and then just wall run on this part and press the down action. And she'll bolt like that. But yeah, I would advise not doing that and instead coming this way. And then there's two strats you can do here. You can do this version, which is kind of awkward. My setup for this is standing where this pole is. And then there's like this line right here that keeps coming sometimes. You want to just like walk at that and then jump and swing your camera to the left. And you should get a sliding wall climb from here. Like that. And then if you sidestep to the left, you should be able to grab this. I don't like this strat, and it is a lot harder than it looks, so if you aren't comfortable with that, then you should do a wall boost down here, and up here, and you want to jump at this, like, diagonally, and you should be able to, like, jump and grab the thing on top if you let go of forwards. You look at my inputs. 
from holding forwards again after I jump. Because I don't think she'll actually grab it if you don't hold forwards. Oh, she does, but whatever. Let's do it anyway. And if you jump like near this line, you won't get a uh, springboard. Oops. But then just make your way this way. Uh, there's two things you can do here as well. You can jump on this line and turn around and then scroll jump as you land on the pole. Which is a pretty good one. Kind of fast. Or you can simply just come up to the pole, turn around, and then you want to jump and then hold back and jump when you get on the pole, and then you hold forwards again. Or if there's some sort of mad lad out there that likes whipping their camera. You can do the old quick turn on the thing. Yeah, from here you don't want to sidestep this way because you'll get stuck on this every time. Unless you do it like diagonally. So you just want to like do a wall run quick turn here. And then coil up onto this. And then coil onto this again. And then you can just look to the left and jump. Make sure you coil, and then just climb up again, over the crane. You can either jump off the end like usual, or you can save a bit of time by just running off the corner. But yeah, that's chapter 3. Now we're on to chapter 4. Uh, pretty much the same as usual for the start, but then you go left here. You do a roll and a sidestep. If you're lucky, you can kick the door open. Uh, and then I do like a side jump into a very light wall boost here to land on this. And then I do another sidestep. I think I copied that from Rep. I don't know. But make sure you. Uh, slow down in this doorway. I usually come to like a full stop quickly. And then I go and do this. If you have too much speed and then you're just gonna like get stuck. But you want to delay your jump like a lot. They just check out my inputs and then do what I do. And then you want to slide in this vent. And then do a, a wall climb turn jump right here. The closer you do it to this edge, the further you'll go that way. Like that. And then this vent's going to fall as you crawl over it. So uh, like we showed in the last chapter, if you... You can only grab straight edges, right? So you don't want to grab that ledge, which you do not. You want to look into the corner. And then you'll fall down like that. Um, from here, there's an easier option, which is just running out here and then climbing on this. And then doing the old coil jump to get up here with a wall climb sidestep wall boost. You can also just do it with like a quick turn if you want. Kind of slow though. Uh, the fastest way is what I do, which is a sliding wall climb on here. It can be kind of finicky though. But I just do this pretty much. You need to like leave some space between your quick turns. 
otherwise you'll just try it and then it won't work like this. Oh, it, it did work, but... Uh, the sliding wall climb is fairly difficult, so, so don't feel bad if you can't get that down. Just do it the uh, coil way. But uh, once you get up here, you want to come here, and then you have another two options. The easier one being just crouching into this ladder and then immediately wall climb quick turn. Um, the second one being an alt climb. Can be kind of finicky though. Especially since I've moved the trigger already, but you get the idea. There's an alt climb there. And then you want to like jump really early here to kill a bunch of height. If you don't do that, you're just going to run out here really far. But it doesn't really matter actually because even if you take a heavy landing, if you're close enough to this thing, you'll just take damage and fall inside. You can't really take a heavy landing here. But yeah, you just want to go through here. Um, again, more options. I opt for the extended wall climb here, so press W, uh, press space and then W later. But make sure you climb over this thing before you sidestep, otherwise you get a beamer. A beamer. Yeah, okay, whatever. You can get a beamer there, it's really annoying. Just make sure you climb over the pipe before you sidestep. Uh, you can also just turn around and oops do want do one of these or you can climb up here and do one uh, you can also just climb it and use the valve while you're climbing uh, that's probably the best way to do it but I just do this and then I crouch and I use it, and then I just immediately turn around and fall down, slide under here, and then you want to crouch into this, and then as soon as you're inside it, just scroll jump, and you'll climb like all the way to the top. Uh, skip that cutscene, and then come down here. Be careful of this hallway because this thing will eat your jump again. So what I do is an early sidestep and then I just turn my camera through here and spam jumps up the stairs. You can both go to hell. No one threatens me. This is a cutscene, of course. Yeah. I'll be okay. Just keep spamming disarm here. You don't have to time it. Just Go wild on the key, it's fine. Better. And then you want to be coming through this hallway. You're probably going to get hit with a loading thing here. Like that. And then inside here, you want to use the button as you climb. Just a tiny, tiny optimization. You want to stand like on the corner here and then when it gets near the bottom, just walk off and do a neutral kick. Crouch walk into this and then another neutral kick. And then an extended wall climb here. You can climb up this. You can also come right here if you want and do an alt climb. Then you want to slide into this hole while looking at the corner to make sure you don't grab anything. Uh, you got a couple of options here. I'll go from the slowest to the fastest. Um, slowest would be jumping on this box. And then you can wall run on here, look to the left and jump up. And then just do a kick clutch this way. 
Uh, I think the second slowest is jumping on this thing and then doing a climb sidestep and then kick glitch because you land on the thing. And then the best way is jumping at this thing at an angle like this. And then as soon as you hit it, press quick turn and jump. I usually use the scroll wheel so I can do them together like that. And then just add a coil on the end. Moving on, there's a cool wall boost you can do here if you go on the left side of this, near this black line. Pretty neat. Anyway, uh, you want to like wait on the other side of this thing, because there's a trigger right here. This green thing is a loading trigger, and when you touch that, it's going to spawn the train down here. Wait, hold on actually. I'm going to a checkpoint here. Um, so yeah, as soon as I touch this, train's going to load down here. And it's based on how fast your game loads. Mine is pretty much instant. Um, but yeah, uh, you wanna, I just need to get back here. So as soon as you walk through here, you're gonna hit a trigger that closes the gates, and you wanna wait until this gate's closed before you open it. And that way the train cycle will start later, and hopefully you can just squeeze through by Doing two wall boosts here. Close ahead, trying to cut you off. Get ready to fight. And then another one. And then just doing blue wall like normal. It's not always gonna work though. I was gonna get hit there, so yeah. Um wouldn't advise doing this unless you want a really good time, because it saves like what six seconds or something. If you just want to play inbounds, then I would Get to this button as fast as you can and start spamming it. Uh, a tip for that is if you free scroll really lightly, it will take all of the inputs, like this. But if you do it too fast, it will start like chugging and it will only take a couple every like second or so. So if you do it lightly, you'll hit it like as fast as you can. But yeah, you just want to like go through here. Um, if you aren't doing blue wall, just boost on these things. Uh, if you don't see the train by now, you can do like a quick check for it. Like when you're here, if you just coil. Like do it in the middle of a jump. And if you don't see it coming, just head straight over the tracks. If you see it coming, you're going to want to wait. Um, if you have taken a bunch of damage already, you can hide in this little hole here. Pretty neat. And then you just want to continue like normal for the rest of the chapter. Um, what's next? Chapter 5, there's no difference, there's just the one elevator at the start. Chapter 6 is quite different. So, when you get here, you need to touch this pole. Well, you don't need to touch the pole, you just need to uh, like go inside this red trigger here. The easiest way to do that is by grabbing the pole, of course, like that. Uh, this, this, the other way that you can do it, if you want, is just a delayed wall climb, wall boost coil. That, that will work too. 
Uh, and then you want to head up here. We're going to get to around here-ish. And then you've got a couple options for getting on this door and climbing up here. You can either jump on the railing and then on the door, like this. Or you can come like right up close to it and then climb on this corner and just spam jump pretty much. That one's kind of finicky. Uh, the other one is jumping backwards onto the railing and then forwards and coiling. You can also just jump on this barrel if you want. I like doing this version with the railing jump because you can get like an extra sidestep in there. Like this. Um, and then from here you want to jump on this thing and then over the fence. Do some wall boost if you want to. Uh, don't worry about this guy. You want to just... You want to make your way up these stairs, but you want to keep some speed. Don't go too close to the wall, because you'll hit this thing sticking out, and it's really annoying. But you want to make sure you're like as close to the wall as you can be, because we're going to do kick glitch over this railing. If that's too spooky for you, you can just jump on the railing and then jump over. Well, what I do is just kick glitch here. But if that is too spooky, you just jump on the railing and jump over here. Or if, if even that is spooky, just do a quick turn and then jump. It's fine. Uh, more options here would be either climbing on this thing and then sidestepping off of it near the bottom to land on these stairs. Or you can go like a tiny bit down these stairs and then do like a long wall run and then kick on here. Oh, nice. And then you can do another kick here. It's all kind of messed up after the thing falls, but just do like a long kick and then you can kick here as well. And then if you have a free scroll mouse, which you should, or you should be using a macro or something, then you want to just do that on this. It'll fly open. And then these guys will start shooting you and stuff. You just want to make your way over here. We'll climb turn jump onto this. Be careful with sidestepping here because this thing eats the inputs as well and you just won't get any speed sometimes. Um, but yeah. Do a wall boost. Uh, two options here really. There's a lot more but only two are like good. So option one swing through the smoke and then do like a wall, a wall run kick here to get down there. Option two is doing a vault at an angle like this and letting her fall off of this beam here and then you want to jump when you land on this one and you can get over there. Oops. Like this. That's my favorite one, personally. And then you can just do a wall run kick. Uh, one thing you should note about this room is if you are just going to go through the steam, the steam will not damage you. You can just go straight through. It's supposed to, but it just doesn't. Not sure why. Anyway, onto this section. Make your way through here. Um, and then you just want to, I jump on this line right here and then I try and sidestep into the button and use it on the way down. 
Doesn't always work. Um, if it doesn't work, uh, just land down here and then if you look like here while standing at an angle, you can just jump coil into it from here and it will always work. Um, yeah, if you don't want to do the sidestep, you can literally just climb over. Oops. And do that. And then from here, do a sidestep onto this. Much faster than just turning like this. And then this is the same as before. In any percent. Uh, and then we are on to chapter 7. Uh, from here you want to like, just move a bit to the right and then look down at this pole and then if you just like walk to the edge and jump should be good enough to kick really late and grab the pole oops and then you want to head to this van and you want to listen to Merc's dialogue you want to be very attentive to it, and you want to hit reaction time as he says, uh, fight. He says fight, and then you hit reaction time. And then that will open this thing 25 seconds early, which is one of the bigger time saves in this category. You'll see the uh, checkpoint in the bottom left when you're playing the game normally. Uh, from here, oh yeah, don't wait like up against the door because you have to barge into it to make it open. So I kind of just wait here until I see the checkpoint and then I walk forwards. A uh, coil on this car and then jump up here and coil jump and then do a wall climb sidestep when you're up here. That's usually good enough to do the thing. And then you just head over to this guy and let him kill you. You should spawn in here. And then you want to just use that door. Uh, for this thing, you want to like start a wall run behind this. And then after you run long enough that it would usually make you stop like that. You want to do a kick and you'll get all the way through. Uh, another thing you can do is just like a sidestep and then a slide. Just basically do anything that's not shimmying through like this because it's really slow. <laughs> Mess around with it, you can do whatever you want. You can even wall boost through if you feel like it. But yeah, then do a war on quick turn. And then you want to jump over this thing onto the one behind it and turn as you do it so you can jump onto this pole because you cannot grab it from the side. You want to just do that. Climb to the top of it. It's usually six if you do how I just did it. And then you want to aim like around here and jump. You should just clip through. Nice. Uh, and then you climb up here like normal. When you get down here, you want to coil on this. Climb up here. And then from here, the, like where the light is, the light doesn't have collision, so don't worry about that. You just want to like jump at it and then quick turn jump, and you'll land up here. And from here, you want to do a sidestep, and then just climb up this thing. 
And then if you do that, you can do another side step and look to the right and just climb up here. If there's too much camera moving for you, you can uh, just come up here and then do a wall boost over, I believe. Yeah. And then continue. Jump up these stairs. And then if you do your quick turn jump uh, right here, so you land on the left side of this, you'll keep your speed. Most of the time. You kind of need to have some speed if you want to keep it. Anyway. Uh, same thing here, look into the corner and you won't grab anything. Uh, and then just kick this door open. You're going to be getting shot at here, so what you want to do is jump at this thing at an angle like this, and then as soon as you get on it, just jump again and you'll do a wall boost. Um, should land here and then do a very light wall boost like with not too many inputs and then you should vault up here if that doesn't happen then you just want to climb up here pretty much and then this thing here is the best part to vault on you'll land like here just make sure you are aware of where the floor is, because if you go like this, you're going to fall down here. Just do it in a way that you'll land on something. And then from here you have another two options. You can either coil jump, coil jump all the way up here. With more speed you'll land like up here. Or you can just do a, a wall run coil jump onto this thing. And then coil jump on here. Take this thing all the way around. You want to jump here and then grab this bottom ledge here. And climb up. And then you want to get behind her because she needs to go here. So if you go up to her and you try and kick her and she rolls backwards, that's bad. So just run behind her. And then start fighting her this way. Uh, it's the same as the fight at the end. You just do exactly the same as you would do there. Um, for some reason you can avoid a hard fall here if you coil jumped over this. I'm not quite sure why that works, but... It do. Um... Okay, in here you want to like run up to this green line and wait until she runs away there. If you use this too early, you will soft lock. That's just my setup for it. I stand here when she goes away, then I'll walk over and I'll use it. Uh, you might have to wait longer if your PC loads a bit slower. So just kind of mess around with it, see how long you have to wait. If you are really unsure, then just use the valve like you would if you weren't glitching it. And then that way it will never soft lock. And then you just want to come through here. Um, and then you want to like vault over here and then fall down off of this box. And you can get a really nice wall boost from it. And then you want to like squeeze under the gate. So you want to do a wall boost here as well, and then another one on the middle, and then you want to climb this at an angle like this. If you climb it head on, you'll never like get high enough. But if you climb at an angle, you'll for some reason just go through. And then from here you have more options again, you can either slide under this, you can wall boost on this and land on the side. Or you can just coil jump over this and look to the left. 
that if you take too long, you will just fail out like this. So just do your wall boosts, climb diagonally, do whatever you want to do here. I like doing this, and then wall boost here, jump over the railing, and you'll get here before she does the explosion, so you won't take much of damage. If you do take damage, you're going to take more damage here, so slow down or just figure out where to jump and not to jump. And then you just speed off without her pretty much. And then you just stand here and wait for the checkpoint and then quit to the menu and load back in. And from there it's the same as any percent. Chapter 8, there's not really much difference apart from an 8B. Sorry, changing my music. Um, right here, the only difference is what you do over there. So, just get yourself over there like you would. I like to do a wall boost like that. Kick okay, glitch, wall boost. And then you have options here as well. You can either do what I do, which is jump from far away here and then your kick will lose like a lot of height and then you can just do a kick glitch wall boost like that uh you can also just jump on this thing like a a noob or you can do the old sidestep bunny hop onto this as long as you get down to this door Actually, there is one more option. There's a checkpoint right here. This big red thing. The other option is doing a side jump. And then just jumping into this checkpoint. And you'll spawn inside this building. And that's pretty much all of the stuff in Chapter 8. Apart from the vents, actually. Yeah, wait, let me go over that. We're not going to do all of Atrium, we're just going to take the... Actually, we're not even going to take the vents, we're going to... You would go through the vents like this. And then... There's not really a special way to do this part, you just want to... Climb it, like normal. Uh, when you get here... In any percent, you would have to kill yourself to make this work. Um, but in inbounds and glitchless or whatever, uh, it will start the script before you hit the bottom of this and die. So you don't have to do the death abuse, you just have to die, die from here instead. So you want to like go into this hole right here, if you look in the corner sometimes you'll fall fast. And then you grab this. And then you just walk straight off the edge. Um, you want to use uh, S and D to line yourself up with this. It's much easier than forwards and backwards. But essentially, you just want to just keep tapping D until you're like, here's yeah, fine. Until you're close enough to this, and then you want to go. There's three boxes here above this bridge. So one, two, three. You want to go to the third box and shoot just above this white line right here. The further back you are, the high, uh, the lower you'll have to shoot. So if you're further forward like this, you'll want to shoot like here. And if you're a bit further back, then you'll want to shoot down here. But yeah, you just want to line yourself up. Third box, just above the white line, and you should get the truck early. Then we go to chapter uh, 9. Um, we'll start off at checkpoint C. 
Because that's the only place it changes. Uh, you just want to use the button and then hide for a bit. And then you want to use it again through the thing, like for old beverage skip, just so it goes a bit faster. But when the elevator stops going up, hit reaction time, and then tab, and then when the door loads in, tab again. And that will cut this elevator ride in half. If you don't keep the door open, that's fine. Just keep an eye on live split and do reaction time when the timer pauses. Uh, and then you want to climb out here and there's a couple of options. I used to use this option where I did like a sidestep and then a roll. But it started like not working for me. It's kind of finicky. Um, I think the best one now by far is just walking off looking like around this line right here, crouch walking off and then slowly turning to the right as you fall and you'll grab this pole uh, and then you want to like let go of the pole as soon as you grab it but then you want to like hold backwards a tiny bit and then start holding forwards again and you'll roll like right on the edge of this thing oops Oh, <laughs> I got hit by the uh, elevator going down. But yeah, you just want to like, make sure you grab this pole. If you're worried about it, you can wait until she stops swinging. And then you can just roll off like that. But you will have to do another roll. Uh, the way I do it, with the uh, holding backwards a little bit and then forwards, just makes it so I don't have to roll when I get down here. But if you wait a little bit, you'll have to do two rolls. Uh, for this ladder, you don't want to use it, you don't want to crouch into it or anything like that. You want to climb up here, and then you'll see like near the end of this climb you get pulled up even further. Like that. In that part where you get pulled up even further, you want to do a quick turn and then jump immediately. And you'll grab like the top of the ladder. Like that. If you don't do it like that, then... Oops. Then you're probably just gonna... Have to climb a bunch. Anyway. From here, you wanna like, jump onto this wall. Jump over here. Up here. Uh, there's a couple routes here. Easiest one by far. Also, probably the fastest, uh on average, if you exclude all of the possible fails of the other ones, is just jumping out of this into a wall run. And then when this vent right here just passes off of your screen, then you jump towards this thing. Bing. So just keep an eye on the vent. Now it's gone, I'm gonna jump. It looks like you won't make it, but usually you will. And then you just hold a D as you jump out of the swing. And your wall run up here. Uh, if you have trouble with that, you can... Um, there's a hole up here, actually. And you can come up here. And just do, like, a kick glitch over this gap. Uh, from here... There's two things you can do as well. You can do um, you do a wall boost and then whip to the left and back to the right. You'll get like a speed vault that takes you over this thing. Like that. It's pretty cool. Um, oops. Yeah, just do that. If you want to, you can also try and get a quick turn on the way down. And then when you land down here, like, on your back, you can roll through this vent. 
Anyway, when you get here, you want to do a delayed W wall climb. So just hit space and then hold W and scroll the mouse. And you'll climb instantly. Uh, neutral kick, of course. Uh, these sniper guys are gonna be like aggroed on you really fast. So, like the second they spawn, they're gonna be really angry. So just keep an eye out on them. Um, what you want to do is run like here, and then you want to like jump way before you want to kick glitch and then just turn your camera into the thing and you'll get down here without having to do a roll if you don't like that you can just run on the wall for a bit and then do it but if you're gonna fall short and you grab this like nine times out of ten you're gonna get shot which makes you let go and you'll just fall down and die so be careful. Land down here and then you want to go through this gate. You can try and take a shortcut by jumping on this box but a lot of the time you'll just vault all of the random shit. Uh, there's going to be a guy up here. So the best thing to do is a springboard and then hold back and forwards. You can see that on my inputs. You want to try and get a speed vault pretty much. Then if you do that you can just sidestep past the guy. They're sending reinforcements. Like that. And then from there you just want to go over this bridge. Uh, you want to do two jumps on this beam. And then you should get all the way to the other side. Like this. Uh, from here, you have two choices. You can either climb up here and then up here. Or you can do what I do, which is a wall climb, sidestep, wall boost onto this vent and then up here. And then it's also pretty much the same until the end. So I'm going to skip ahead. To server room. The only difference here is we don't, but well, you can disarm the guy, but if you want to do it a, like a second faster, you can just punch him by doing a slide kick and then two punches and then crouch down and do another punch and he'll drop his gun and then you can just take it from there. You have to be quick though. Slide, punch, 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 grab the gun. Like that. If not, then you just do it the really old way where you just yoink his gun like this. Usually they'll shoot this server out for you when you run past it, but sometimes they won't. So if the door's not open, check that one. And there you go. That's all of the differences in inbounds and my ways of doing them. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Please run inbounds. There's only 10 people. It's very lonely. Okay, bye.